champions then uh, cameras up against Castle Down at Moor Park and it was cameras who got off to the better start Mark Dowlin who has been outstanding for them throughout the league uh, popping over the opening score of the game but things were to change and change rapidly for uh, the champions Dylan Conroy popped over a free after Ben Conroy was fouled after just uh, two minutes five minutes of play to leave the sides level then Martin Phelan ball out into the wing to him took it on the run and uh, stuck it over the bar. Ben Conroy setting up that one as well, having played a huge part in Steve Bloom's win earlier in the week in the Intermediate Hurling Championship. It was all Castle Down Steve Bloom at this stage. Dylan Conroy right into the centre, taking the ball from the middle of the field. Excellent score on the run. Two, three points to one after just 10 minutes of play. And then Ben Conroy, despite being tackled and hurried and hassled, coming forward. Under severe pressure, he got his opening score of the game. Four points to one after 11 minutes of play. Nobody would have predicted this. Zane Keenan with a free after Owen Gohan was fouled at the other end. Making it four points to two. Keeping his side in touch early on. 11 and a half minutes played in the opening half. And then great play out in the sideline. Ball back to Martin Phelan. And Martin Phelan drove it into the clouds. But more importantly, it was between the posts. Shane Cully doing great work before that. Five points to two. Zane had popped over a free. Then a great run by Benny Redden. Brendan coming to the 45, striking it on the run. Making no mistake, double score, 6-3. Joe Phelan doing very well, giving the ball back out to Ben Conroy. And Ben making it look oh so easy. Seven points to three after 15 minutes of play. Midway through the opening half. Ben happy with that performance so far. Ball inside then, popped in from to Dylan Conroy, from Evan Cuddy, and uh, Dylan making it eight points to three. And suddenly there was uh, murmurs around the stand. Could this really be happening? County champions in serious trouble. Zane Keenan knocked it back to a double score game, eight points to four, 20 minutes gone. And great play out along the field, great delivery by Connor Phelan. Taken down, one handed by Ben Conroy, turning around and putting it over the bar and he really was causing huge trouble for the cameras defence at this stage. Saying Keenan added a point from a 40 metre free, it was 9 points uh, to 5. And then, ball knocked inside, Ben Conroy won it, turned on the sixpence, struck it to the far corner, goalkeeper never saw it, cracking cracking goal the back of the net, 1-9 to 5 points, 26 minutes played. Ryan Milani from just outside his own 45, into the clouds it went. No wind there to carry it. Went to all of its own steam. Over the bar as the umpire raised the white flag inside. One ten to five points, eight between the sides. But Zane was to finish the half with first of all a sideline cut from about 30 metres out showing great skill. And then a free from outside of 45. To leave six points between the sides at half time and cameras with it all to do. One goal in ten to seven points. But we expected cameras to do it in the second half. Bit of a mountain to climb, but I got off to a great start. From straight from the throw-in, the ball came to Dean Delaney, showing great skill. The ball's behind and picked it up in front. Shipped by a tackle and popped the ball over the bar. Great score, five between the sides. Zane Keenan with a sideline cut after Dylan Conroy had hit two points. Now in the gap to six points again, one goal and 12 to nine points. Cameras with Joe Phelan. Hitting a ball out to the far side of the field to Dean Delaney. And from 80 metres out, he wound up for this one. A real rallying score. Cameras needed it all. 1, 12 to 10 points. 5 between the sides. But then, Dylan Conroy hit a quick one down to James Hoban. He popped it in. He thought it was a point. The umpire signalled wide. The linesman now had a chat with the referee. He went running in, had a chat with his umpires, and the white flag was raised. No Hawkeye needed there. Six between the sides again. As the clock changed from 1 of 13 to 10 points. Zane and Dylan Conroy traded points. Still six between them. 1 14 to 11 points. But uh, Camelus needed more. Maybe Zane was the man to provide it. He got his first score of the game from open play. Hitting it way, way out the field. Popped it over the bar. James Hoban at this stage was brilliant in defence. Dylan Conroy put six between them again. One 15 to 12 points. Seven minutes left in the game. 
and cameras fighting for their lives at this stage. But uh, it was to be a couple of more points for Castle Lounsley Bloom. First of all, Aaron Gohan, who had uh, come on as a sub, hit a lovely score over the shoulders. And then it was Dylan Conroy, down along the sideline, hops it over uh, to Conor Phelan, and Conor Phelan makes it a nine point game with time up, 30 minutes played. Then a free for Cameras outside the 21, and Zane blasts the ball to the back of the net. But it was too little, too late at this stage of the game as the referee was waiting to blow the full-time whistle. End of it all. It was one goal and 18 points for Castle Lounsley. Boom. One goal and 12 for the Champions Cameras.